guys, I'm here in San Francisco for one of the biggest events in gaming, GDC. We've got an all-access pass, so let's talk Nintendo. Come on. Nintendo booth, which is buzzing right now. We've got Resident Evil Station, Metal Gear, a bunch of eShop games, which were pretty great. And then we also have Spirit Camera, Mario Tennis Open, and then of course, a huge Kid Icarus Uprising Station, which has been really popular right now. We got people playing multiplayer over there. I also was lucky enough to get my hands on some Kid Icarus Uprising air carts, which are very hard to come by. So what did you think of the multiplayer for Kid Icarus Uprising? I was actually really impressed with it. It was pretty easy to pick up, and I really liked the graphics. I love how the 3D depth really adds a lot when you're playing as far as judging distances go. This is one of those 3D games that really shows off the strength of the hardware. How easy it is to get used to the controls, how fun it is. There is no dominant playstyle. As an actual tennis player, I have, you know, you can plan your things out, use a lob to put them at the back of the court, so there's actually strategy involved. So I saw you were playing a little Tekken 3D Prime Edition, what'd you think? So I'm a big fan of fighting games, and you know, it's easy to pick up and play, they're really fluid, I love the touch screen. Yeah, I thought they did a great job with it. I thought it was really beautiful. Oh, I think uh, Spirit Camera is great, uh, and uh, I'm a big fan of the franchise. I love how they're incorporating the augmented reality feature. Uh, it gives it a, a realistic quality, you know? We interact with real-life objects every day, so it helps to have it engage with an actual object. Masachika Kawata, it's so great to meet you. Now, this has been a huge year for you. So what's it like to have Resident Evil Revelation so well received by critics and fans? Can you tell us a little bit about how you crafted such a full Resident Evil experience on a handheld? え、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま
to see how cool it is. <laughs> anyway, it has a bunch of other features as well, like you can uh, paint together with a friend on a single canvas, you can play back all your paintings, see exactly how it was made, and of course, one of the big things is the integrated online gallery. Right. So anyone can upload their paintings, you can comment, like, all that kind of stuff, and it's really a friendly community that keeps everything alive. When can we expect to see the game in the Nintendo eShop? It still hasn't got a, a clear release date, but it should be very soon now, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. All right, well, we are too. Thanks so much for talking to us, Jens. Thank you very much. This really has been a GDC to remember. Thanks so much to the developers, fans, and everyone else we talked to. Check back next week for all things Nintendo 3DS. See you then.